Hi guys, where's Daddy Owen? I'm here to appreciate positive criticism. Good morning and welcome back. Now, a day or so ago, we saw Eric Mundy coming through to call out gospel artists saying that they are the one who are living immoral life in Nairobi, giving example with the likes of Rington Apoko, Willie Paul, among others, bro. Like he came through and called out the war veteran gospel artists right here. Hi guys, where's Daddy Owen? Where's Jimmy Gate? Where's Masimasika? Where's Alice Kamande? Where's Gloria Muliro? Where's Eunice Njeri? The gospel music industry was the identity of Kenyan music. They have all fallen. Where is Bahati? Where is Willie Paul? Where is DK Queen Beat? The gospel music industry has failed us. I remember the days of Groove Awards, the biggest awards in East and Central Africa. And then the next thing I heard was that DK Queen Beat, Alikwana Gonorea. Willie Paul is leaving the gospel industry. And now they're just having sex in Omoja. They have more scandals than the secular industry. We know what Willie Paul is doing. Bahati left gospel music. He's now singing secular. And he's hanging onto his YouTube channel with his wife. You have left ministry. You have left God. You have left the church. You will never prosper. You will never succeed. The failure of Kenya as a nation is attacked upon you. The amount of sex that gospel musicians are having in Umoja, the amount of sex and fornication that DK Kwenye Beat and Willie Paul are having on a daily basis. Nimekutana Willie Paul on Sunday with the yellow Mercedes. Una drive around ukitafuta watoto wa university. And you are a preacher. You are a minister of the gospel. Where is Masi Masika? I grew up with you. I ministered with you in Daystar. You used to sing and the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit comes down and people will get saved. We have lost our touch with God and the church has let down Kenyans. Do you remember Daddy Owen? Do you remember Jimmy Gate? Jimmy Gate and I was a laptop and a chukoma maid was chanawetu and a wapeleka Saudi Arabia. All he does on Instagram is no longer ministry. Hi guys, are you a girl? Are you a lady between 18 and 25? I have a job for you in Saudi Arabia where our girls are raped. Our girls are dying. That is what Jimmy Gate is doing. Come back to your ministry. And you will not succeed, Jimmy Gate. It is not your calling. Go back to your talent. What is it that God gave you to do? Uli wacha kuimba. You are broke. Ni wote munaisha. Where's Alice Kamande? Kambua, what are you doing? Daddy Owen alianabaka Nigeria. Akashinda mama's award. Mr. Seed, you are trailing now because of very immoral things. Ni ino mkona scandal za gonorrhea. You are training for all week. I want to give you a message from God. Whatever you touch, whatever you do, I hit end anywhere until you come back to your initial calling. Bahati. Watch out on the politics. Bro, come back and give us songs that are inspired by God. Songs that move the nation. Songs that influence youths. Balua, give us that. Mama, give us Sasa mwacha gospel industry watu kama Rington Apoko, a friend of mine who I know his place and I know what he does from Thursday to Sunday. He changes women like clothes. Rington alalana wasiana watatu per day. The most immoral people in Kenya are former gospel artists. Guardian Angel Pia says, tangu waolewe, we don't see him anywhere. And the rise of homosexuality in Kenya is because of you. In fact, some of you are part of it. And don't dare me. I can mention 10 of you who are homosexuals. You need to get back to God. You've turned Kenya into Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, that is what's up. That is what Eric Mone came through and said. And we've seen several gospel artists coming through to respond. Among them being Rington Apoko, whom we saw coming through to say that Eric Mone is being used by several parties to fight him. And another person whom we've seen coming through to respond is Daddy Owen, who shared a video through his Instagram page, responding straight up to Eric Mone, saying that he was making sense somehow or in several styles that he said but however in some he wasn't making sense right here enjoy i want to address something that uh, i've been tagged in guys have been sending me on inbox and it's about a video that was done yesterday by eric Mondi. this video is very interesting because eric Mondi is mentioning uh, some of the gospel musicians and uh, I'm, I'm not here to make any excuses. I'm here to appreciate positive criticism 
and even appreciate him coming out and uh, declaring <laughs> like uh, you understand to the gospel industry and there are some things that he's saying that are really making sense uh, some of the people that he's mentioned for real some of us need to go back to the studio need to work uh, the way we used to work we, we need to we need to produce more gospel music at the same time we need to understand that uh, gospel ministry is mostly inspired not all but mostly guys are inspired by the holy spirit to write songs and are inspired to do what they're doing but there are some startling allegations there are some mind boggling allegations that i had in this video from eric komondi yeah that is what daddy one came to and said while responding to eric komondi which i don't know what do you guys think about his response right there and alongside with that do you think eric komondi was making sense coming through to call out the gospel artists did you find sense in whatever you came to and said well tell us down in the comment section subscribe if you're new follow me on instagram blizzka.ke and i'll see you guys in the next one